Hey Tom, how you doing? Robsy, greetings. How you doing? Oh, I'm great, thanks. Like, really I'm... Austrian. That's good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Sorry, uh, my brain likes. <laughs> do you, do I'm you... good as well. Okay. Are you gonna go to Comic Con this year? Yes, of course I am. All four days. Oh, sweet. Do you have any cosplays in mind? Muggle, Spider Man, and Natsu. <laughs> Oh, and then Haley wants me to dress up as Miles Morales on one of the days that I that she's working there. So then she'll be Raven, I'll be this boy. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I can't wait to see your cosplays and your, your muggle outfit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm just attending on the Sunday, so I'll see you then on the what? Sunday. Come on, we need you on all days, Robzy. <laughs> I wish. Um, I won tickets. Uh, thank you, Brainard, for that. <laughs> hey, shout out to but Brainard. Shout out. I'm interviewing Brainard next week. <laughs> hey, Brain, your turn. <laughs> that can be like the special announcement for next week's interview. <laughs> Wait, I got that. I got it. Ladies and gentlemen. Coming to you next week, from the depths of I'm not sure where of South Africa, it's going to be Rob Z interviewing Renard! <laughs> Thank you so much. I love that. Welcome to do so. That is an awesome mic, by the way. Thank you. The Fine Fine microphone has been such an amazing mic. Shout out to also ask. There's a lot of shout outs happening in this space of time. <laughs> 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 uh, one of my friends from the UK suggested I get this mic and it's actually pretty decent for the price. Okay, so you enjoy streaming in your like your free time? Yeah. Okay. And video games in general. Yeah. How long have you been streaming with Twitch? So properly since 2020, but I did start it back, I think in 2018. And then I was like, eh, this is confusing. <laughs> Yeah. And then eventually I was like, yeah, you know what? I can do this again. I'm a, I'll try it again. And now, yeah, I've been enjoying it. But funny enough, um, it's not for streaming was not for streaming. It was because I could funny enough do podcasts as well. But I'm like, I don't know how to talk to myself like enough to like when it comes to talking back with someone, I can do it face to face, but on on digital, I was like, I gotta get practice over like uh over screen or over microphone or all of that just so I can be used to the fact that I'm just talking digitally. It was a whole thing. So I started it just so I can practice talking. And then well, I just continued ever since, really. You're very confident with your speaking. You're very charismatic. So I think you've done an excellent job. Thank you. Starting I, I still try. I think it's just my internal like. I can do better. I can do better. Maybe episode two, Robzy. I'll interview you. Counter interview. <laughs> yeah, I'd love that. What's your favorite games to play? Currently, <laughs> funny enough, it's Spider Man. It was oh. it came out on on Steam. The, um, I was like, I don't care. It's not whether it's on special or not. I am buying that game. I waited. I have waited for a Spider-Man game to come back on PC since, like, um, Shattered Dimensions and all of that, which are have been taken off, like, the gaming oh. platforms. Yeah, so you can't, like, buy the older Spider-Man games anymore, really. I'm not too sure of, digitally at least. So, yeah. No, it's been, it's been amazing. And then... Well, a lot of my other favorite games is Ark, Overwatch, Apex Legends now recently. Okay. Yeah, and then just it fluctuates, it fluctuates. Uh, yeah, but right now it's Spider Man. Okay, I was watching your Spider Man stream the other day, and <laughs> it's so awesome to watch you play it. And you can see that you really enjoy it. And what's your favorite skins that you've unlocked so far? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> All of them. Also, um. There was a plushie, I think, in the game. Yeah. I've got a plushie that looks very similar. Oh, my God. <laughs> it looks so similar. You're right, actually. What? <laughs> it's a, it's it's a, a chubby Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, my God. It's 
so cool. <laughs> wait, wait. He can he can stay here, but I don't know where he's gonna be seated. Oh wait, there we go. He's got there you go. What done? Uh, uh, okay, wait. Uh, uh. Okay, I'm just gonna do the street the oh. podcast like this. Hi guys. Hey. <laughs> the do the whole interview like hunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Very, very yeah. cool. You even got the so at the Multiverse of Madness screening by Marvel. At the end of the show, we literally got like cut cover cut out. So I took the letters off the board and I'm like <laughs> Yeah, time to possess my room, you know? <laughs> a little bit of wish. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dark. <laughs> it looks like uh, on your door. <laughs> I know, right? You gotta paint it a little bit. When when the new Spider-Man movie, the Mars Bros. Spider-Man movie comes out next year, then hopefully they can have like individual letters for those as well. And I can just <laughs> Yes. on the door you could just add like graffiti i think there'll be graffiti design Across. for the premiere Ooh, i see it that would be sick yeah mm. no so, that'd be amazing actually a lot of people like it's a <laughs> the spider-man fan base they they're always so narrow-minded about peter parker being white but now we have a black spider-man and now he's been entered into the cinema universe how do you feel about him finally being part of the whole spider-man franchise i mean finally hey it's been like to be fair like when the when miles virus came out i was like this is actually pretty awesome because now i have a suit because <laughs> like i have a suit that i can represent and then when i take the mask off because it was a funny moment rolling back in 2018 comic con uh, i was going for like a coffee or something i was like interacting with these guys and to be fair when you speak to me you can't exactly tell like that i'm i'm me right so uh as i got the coffee i'm like cool and i took my mask off and the guy that we were speaking to like oh and I was like, what's up? It was like, oh no, we didn't expect we like that we didn't expect you to be, you know, and I was like, don't worry, the comics the costumes coming next year and you will not be surprised this time. <laughs> but I find it entertaining. But it's actually pretty cool now because like, huh, what can I say? It's, in terms of it being a long time coming, uh, Marvel always introduces different characters and their different universes and different races so it's also not surprising in a way for me it's just like oh, okay we have one that actually exists because we have an indian one we have um an african like okay like an african one <laughs> so miles Morales is like latino american african yeah. combo and then we have like an african one uh so like I'm not too surprised. I think it was everyone's hype around it every time Marvel releases like a character and it was like, oh, but why is it like this? It was like, mm. yeah, then that's their it's own so story. <laughs> yeah, it's like that's their own story. You may not relate to it, you may not like it, but he's here now, so like it or don't read the comics, really. Like, you know, or or give you some time to like the comic or understand the character. Because I guess a lot of people resonate with Peter Parker because he is both um, very, the most human actually out of all of us. And I don't know what the both is going to be. So I'm going to stick on the most human part <laughs> where he, when he takes a suit off, he's a regular guy. He, can't, he has to pay rent. He doesn't like, it's not like Tony Stark or anything where things like come to him or anything like that. He doesn't use his brain for money or anything he's like i'm just here to help the people and as uncle ben says with power but with great power comes the great responsibility and he takes that responsibility whether he he doesn't let his situation stop him from uh living on that mantra line tight what what is is it a mantra affirmation a mantra? hmm affirmation what do you what do you mean an affirmation the ba uncle ben's line oh uh, yeah it could be a quote or yeah yeah that's that's his code i guess or his code catchphrase <laughs> catchphrase <laughs> <laughs> so yeah no uh so in Miles Morales, he doesn't have 
an affirmation or anything. Like, yes, Peter Parker has told him the line, but like for Miles, his story, it was like he got bitten by another by a different spider bought by his uncle, who's a super criminal. And like his parents used to be shield agents, according depending on the stories that you're reading and things like that. So it's like it's it's com- they're completely different characters and it shows in the show and whatever they deal with also expresses deeply like where there's a comic book I was reading recently where um Peter Parker was helping he was a school teacher and he was helping um this child right and he was busy like swinging around and then he was just like oh my gosh I've been so busy how could I just forget like the people that are less fortunate in that right and then, and he was just like going through this thing, like, how could I allow myself to forget this? Because he is Peter Parker. He's the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, right? And then Miles, um, when he hears things about like um, people being uh, treated unfairly, like especially of color in that, then he, there was like this one comic book where he went after like a landlord who was taking this family out of the building. He went in like he electroshocked his car, and he's just like, "The next time you do that again to a family, I, I'll do that to you." Something along those lines, and it's just like they each have their own like stories and how that and how life affects them, and it's just it's great, it's great because people can resonate with said characters yeah. on that on that level. Oh, I said a lot. I hope a lot <laughs> of that made sense. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, this is why I also feel that cosplay is for everyone because you won't right? be judged at all by wanting to dress up as the so-and-so character you shouldn't feel bad about it you shouldn't feel ashamed about your gender your race your your yeah. body type peter b parker the dad bot of the year but <laughs> like peter b parker dad bot spider-man like come on that man is amazing. <laughs> he was so funny. <laughs> He's like, I don't, I don't have my wallet on me. Are you gonna pay for this? <laughs> right. And that's and that's a, a, and that's basically a spider. Well, a Peter. Well, Peter Parker. That represents that represents a lot of us. A lot of times, well, we're not leeches or anything. Neither is Peter. But like sometimes we're just in a situation where you're like, oh man, I don't have money or this moment. I can you help? This man is a superhero and he's like humbling himself down to be like, hey, I can't afford this. Like, can you help me? Was he humbling himself? I mean, (laughs) (laughs) but like, I'm sure he's done it a few times. And then the Loki series just ended, and there they reveal that there's a multiverse, and as your door says multiverse, so that means that there are a bunch of variants of these characters, and no one should be judgmental about exactly the no characters. Look, go wild. Do you like <laughs> the character? If you resonate with the character, whatever it is, go wild and love them. Like, don't let other people put you down about it. Really. Yeah, for sure. Because now I'm thinking of Comic Con that's coming up. There's gonna be so many variants of many, many characters. <laughs> <laughs> Especially like oh Rick and Morty. <laughs> it's gonna be it is going to be awesome. But yeah, I think I don't I wonder how people would feel about variant being called a variant though in cosplay. That's interesting. Because I came across a post and I was like, uh, oh, huh. Uh no, so it's just like um, I don't cosplayers dressing up as characters, the you know, gender, race, whatever different types. Uh, there was been an uptick since the Loki series, the of them being called variants, and then there were like other cosplayers are like, Don't call us variants, we are the character. Oh. And I'm like, I, I get that, but I get what you mean as well because, yeah. like, it is a vi- <sighs> Is Miles Morales a variant of Spider Man or is he Spider Man? No, not my brain is going. No, like in the Ultimate Universe, Spider Man dies. Now he be- and then Miles Morales becomes yeah. Spider Man. So now is he variant Spider Man or is he Spider Man? <laughs> and then if he's now back in the six one six, is he Spider Man? <laughs> like... Well, 
that lecture was like, I wish there was a black Spider-Man. I feel he's going to come through with Tom Holland Spider-Man. He's definitely going to show up. I feel, I guess the variant term will be done, let's say for group photo, for light-hearted yeah. jokes and stuff. Yeah. I don't think that anyone should like take offense. Um, if they say you don't look like your character, that will be hurtful because yeah. to you, you look like the yeah. character. You put in effort. Some people can't afford to buy like proper costumes. Some can. Exactly. Some like hire their friends to like sew the outfits for them. Some can't sew at all. <laughs> some, <laughs> some just do closet cosplay by putting on a shirt and jeans and saying, hey, I'm Doctor Strange. Right? I mean, Doctor Strange can wear casual clothing. I'm sure if I Google Doctor Strange in casual, I'll find something. So there's um, for Disney yeah. characters, Disney Bound is, I guess, the outfits they wear when they go to Disneyland for the day, and they'd like to dress mm-hmm. up as the characters, but they don't have the proper like a tie so then they just put on like a frilly skirt and a blouse and like a pearl necklace and there you go that's amazing <laughs> that's actually pretty cool hey, does disney provide that or is it the community that love disney that provides that i think it's the community that loves disney but they the the best part of this is is it doesn't just lie by Disney. It goes for Marvel. It goes oh. for Star Wars. Like for oh. any. So if you feel like just casually going as someone for the day and you don't feel like wearing your spider suit, just look up Miles Morales, like bound <laughs> or like Disney bound. Fair I think, enough. I think it counts now because they bought the rights for those franchises. If anyone actually questions your cosplay and you have a uh, stuff, Hit them on the head and tell them, does this feel real to you? Because I feel like I'm the real character. So, <laughs> okay, don't actually bunk it on the head, people. No violence is allowed. Oh my God. But yes, just it's, don't let them put you down. It's so ironic because I wanted to cosplay as Negan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> Bubsy, don't hit people on the head, please. What listen? Please. <laughs> Now back to your previous scheduling program. (laughs) Greetings, welcome. (laughs) So I made coffee while we were gone. (laughs) Oh yeah, me too. Did I I say coffee? I mean tea. (laughs) I made coffee and I poured some coke. Okay, explain this concoction that you speak of. What sciencey magic things are you doing in the kitchen with coffee and and coke? There's like a cup of coffee with an ice cube that's melted, and once right. that's finished, it's not going to be enough. So I have my glass of coke. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Where's your popcorn? Oh, you yeah. microwave? Yeah. Don't you do stove top? Well, I do not know how long we'd be on intermission. So <laughs> oh, that's fine. No, popcorn's the best. I love popcorn. I can make caramel popcorn. You know, like diddle Ooh. daddle? Yeah, I can make mm-hmm. it. So like if you and Haley come through sometime, this isn't gonna be part of the interview. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make you some. <laughs> well maybe I should add, because I'm quite proud of my caramel popcorn. <laughs> yeah be proud of it <laughs> now i need to ask you like the most nerdiest question ever go for it what's your stance on pineapple on pizza i love it no why why <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> i'm game i'm game tell me tell me why okay. you like it okay I, I'm gonna quote. I'm gonna quote a, a tweet in, indirectly that I once read. Uh, so those that do not like pineapple pizza, uh, pineapple pizza, are foolish to understand that the sweetness of the pineapple mends with the bittery taste that comes with the cheese and everything. It just gels well together. It's a concoction of brilliance and beauty. It doesn't. <laughs> it's so watery. <laughs> No, that depends where you get it from. It's so ironic because like, I don't Watery. mind banana on pizza or like chocolate pizza. And pineapple's pretty sweet. It's tangy. Mm. 
I haven't tried the chocolate pizza. I, I don't know. I feel like it's a weird gimmick. I was like, why would you add chocolate to something that's already perfect? So, so you get dessert pizza. Instead of the mm-hmm. tomato base, they just add like a chocolate base. And it's like having Nutella on pizza bread. You know, like that doughy bread. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like that. But it's, it's really good. And then they just add like chocolate sprinkles. There's some places that you can add any other dessert toppings that you'd like. So it's nothing yeah, yeah. savory. Like, I don't think savory and... I like savory and okay. sweet, but not with pizza. That's that's why what... not. Here you go. Go, go, go <laughs> mysterious, Robsy. Put pineapple and pi- pineapple and banana on your pizza. And ham. <laughs> and ham! Just add that banana into it, you know, just on top of it. Just, you know, just so for... see, see how you feel. Just for, like... Pig spider, what do you call him? Yeah, it's pig spider because spider pigs from Simpsons. Spider ham. Oh, spider ham. There we go. You <laughs> <laughs> would be so upset with me right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, he won't. Out of the spider people, you know, who do you think eats pineapple and pizza and who do you think don't? They, they say five, top five characters, top five Spider Man characters that you know. Of the whole Spider Man franchise. Yeah. Okay. Doc Ock. With or without? What, do you mean he With likes pineapple. or doesn't like? Right. He likes it. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Strong take there. Strong take. I mean, he's a bad guy. He, he, does, he does do weird experiments. So, okay, okay. Next. I see. I do see. Okay, out of the other villains, I see Electro and Green Goblin also. Having pineapple and pizza because it's such a villainous meal. <laughs> it's a villainous meal. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you implying that I'm the villain here. <laughs> and now we're back to your schedule programming. <laughs> I don't want Andrew Garfield mm-hmm. to enjoy it. I don't know. Like, I'd write him off if he enjoyed it. <laughs> now it's just a personal thing. <laughs> <laughs> Right, him off him. <laughs> I would say Wilson Fisk would eat it, but not because he'd enjoy it. Because he might have one of the spider people that doesn't enjoy it, and just to to tease him to be like, he like you know like when you know like when they come to the villain and the villain hasn't done anything yet, but mm-hmm. he is in he's he's being investigated for something, so then he's like. Oh, Spider Man. I see you've come to interrupt my pizza. And then as he turns around, Spider Man realizes it's a pineapple and be like, Wilson Fisk, I was here about the crime that I think you did, but that's just the worst crime. So yes, Wilson Fisk. Yeah, like a like a like a cheesy <laughs> scene. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay. I keep forgetting then... that Peter worked at a pizza mm-hmm. place. Oh yeah. Pizza, oh, what's yeah. it? It's not pizza perfect. That's our thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, pizza perfect. Wow. What? What is its name again? Mm, I I don't remember. It's even on the it's even on the cap in the game. Yes, like, I'm thinking oh, on the, the cap too. <laughs> I got the Google's open. <laughs> Google's. Yep, it's Joe's Pizza. So that's the one that he worked at. How far are you in the game? Like, when last did you stream the game itself? And then have you played after without streaming? So two days ago. And so I so have to defeat, like, the demons. Like, there's, like, the there's, like boss raid rooms or, like, a raid. So, yeah, you defeat, like, waves of bad guys for the demons, for Mr. Lee's guys. So I have one of that left. I have one more backpack to pick up. Uh, I still have to do Black Cat story. Well, in-game story. So not the DLC, but the current in-game story. We have to find out where she is. Cannot wait for that reveal. Um, and then, yeah. So I need to finish Lee's storyline. Still continue with Doc Ock's storyline. Which is, I guess, going to be the final battle, I believe. And then, yeah. Huh. I'm pretty, I'm pretty far. Yeah. yeah. Well done. Oh, and then I'm doing two stones side quest. Say so again, which one? Uh, tombstone. 
Tombstone. I don't think yeah. I learned that one. As a Is character? Yeah. So he featured in in terms of animation or like on TV, you can see him on the Spectacular Spider-Man. All right. TV show. And then I honestly don't know where else he's featured. Yes, he, he wasn't in the original Avengers TV show. Is he like so, Doomsday? No, no, no. So Tombstone is a man with like a... So when he was young, he was exposed to chemicals that hardened his um body, mainly his head, skull. So like you can shoot him on the head, anything. It's just it's it's oh. he's gonna be on a phase. He's almost indes- I don't know indestructible, but like he's basically it'll take a lot to take him down. Let's call it that. So are you like kind of bummed out that they're not gonna bring out that ten minute extra No Way Home? film to south africa Wait, they said 10 minutes extra wait on disney plus so like in cinemas do you have to like rebuy tickets for the whole movie just in cinema. 10 minutes yeah no it's like a what? dlc <laughs> yeah I, I was i was there i was in the group chat <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting yeah. to meet online friends <laughs> <We're both so laughs> <angry. laughs> I was like, why is he so quiet? What's going on? <laughs> I was waiting for you to notice this. <laughs> Online friends are amazing, though. Mm-hmm. Like, especially like the actual ones that I guess they genuine. They're especially when you meet them for the first time. There's still a few that I need to meet, but the only way I'm going to be able to meet them mm-hmm. is if I go to their country. So, there's a lot of saving I need to do. There's so many long-distance friendships, for sure. And that's why I'm excited for Comic-Con. Because there's a lot of friends of mine that's Jobbik-based, like you and Haley, for instance. And it's just so nice, because it's like a reunion. <laughs> it's going to be so much fun. <laughs> I love how you say long-distance, though, as if, like, Pretoria is a whole other country. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're going to apply it. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, it's not so easy for me to get that side. <laughs> Many tangents. Moving right along. <laughs> so, so you do cycling as a hobby too? Yeah. Ah, the see some of your your progress on Insta stories. I'm so proud. Getting of Getting there slowly. Yeah. No flip. <laughs> it's a weird thing getting back in cycling after not doing so in such a long time, but knowing that you know you can do better than you currently are. All because firstly, cars exist, so it just makes things somehow easier. But also just in general with what happened in life and all of the jazz that's like, eh. But now I was like, if I'm going to cycle, I need to give myself a purpose. I'm going to get fit. I need like a proper purpose that I know when I wake up, when I feel like it is like, okay, Tom, you got to get going. You got to get doing. You need to do this or else. No. So... That's why um, I'm doing it for next year, November. I'm going to do like a fundraiser cycle. I don't know how I'm going to do it all. Like I'm still getting the fitness part down. There's still everything else I got to put into place. But yeah, it's going to be, I think it's going to be fun. And my best friend already said he's going to join me. So, Sweet. well, I have no choice now. <laughs> I, <didn't even laughs> I have no choice but to. But I'm going to try and do it over a month instead of like, him and his friends where they managed to do it in like two weeks. Uh, I want to try and on, I'm gonna do it the whole month just because in terms of fitness levels and getting there and all of that, like all the math that was playing in my head, a month would work out better because then I know I could reach the end in a month instead of pushing myself for two weeks. But if two weeks is there, because my best friend really knows how to push, push me like, you know, just to keep going, then yeah. You could also plan all your pit stops in between on routes. Yeah. Where you'll stay in between. Like, plan that beforehand. What about that part? For any cyclist fans, what kind of bicycle do you have? My bicycle is not with me, but it's an Avalanche. Uh, forgot the model or anything like that. I'm sorry, cyclist fans. <laughs> <laughs> but, like yeah, so, uh, yeah. No, no, no. It's a mountain bike. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's awesome. So it's fun because then I can go off-road and on-road and jump on things and, ah, 
Oh, mountain biking is fun, especially on our roads, on the safe parts of our roads. You're kind of but being yeah. like Spider Man instead of Spider-Man. yeah, the way on wheels. Is. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but yeah. So it the second also. So the reason I was like November is because um that's where my late mom's birthday will be end of November. So. The goal is to make it before or on the day. I, I, I will give myself like a wee leeway if I make it on the 30th. But like, that's the goal. To reach there at that point and then try to raise funds that way. I don't know how it'll work. I haven't thought that far. Or at least if I'm going to... The planning be, behind how that's going to work will come through when I'm... If I can stream it, I'll stream it. There's always going to be dead zones where there will be no signal whatsoever. So no one's going to hear from us until like, I don't know, a day later or so. And yeah, but hopefully I can get a lot more, some sponsorship onto it and it to make it easier. If I don't know if I'll have a driver, but the in, okay, cool. I can't say invite is open to all because the next thing you know, a bunch of people from <laughs> other countries are like, yo, Tom. So the invite's open, like, like no, guys, hold on. <laughs> but like the invite is in essence open to all. Like whenever I tell someone I'm doing this, they're like, oh, hey, can I join? I'm like, hey, if you're ready and you're fit enough by then, dude, it'll be fun. We won't just have a community of people cycling there. But if it's just me and my best friend, it's like good old times. I know that there be. was um, hmm? there was this app but I think it was made specifically for the comrades that you would be able to track the runners as they ran. And I'm sure the signal would have been bad, but if they have a tracker of some kind, I'm sure something can be done mm. on your side too. And I will support I you for it. sure. Like I'll help you look Thank into you. this too and on how to do the whole thing. The Thank story. you. You're welcome. That's going to be, but that's going to be more next year. So for now, I got to focus on being able to, if I can cycle from here to like Furenichen in a day, not even in a day, in less than a day, or to like the cradle of humankind and back, then I know I'll be, I'll be able to be ready because yo, <laughs> those things are, <laughs> driving there takes a long time. Now cycling. Last year you hosted a charity live stream in honor of your mom. Was it twenty twenty? Yeah, no, it's only twenty twenty. Yeah. Okay. So, are you planning to do anything this year? Yep. Okay. Same, same life uh, fundraiser stream. I just now gotta find whether the people I did the fundraiser for before um are all good for me doing another fundraiser, or if I have to look somewhere else. Because it's really hard trying to find like people that don't mind that because in South Africa it's still kind of like a new niche thing to say like okay this streamer is gonna raise money for like who's the streamer they're gonna raise money yada yada you know like I don't know twitch and streaming is still somewhat of a new concept to a lot of companies in South Africa so All you right. tell them hey you want to raise funds and they're like ah oh, not interested or thank you for your input but not right now and you're like ah oh. but um I don't know if you heard tell org yeah, I've heard of them. Yeah, so they were pretty awesome to um to say sure on the, on my fundraiser, and they gifted me. If it's, if it's here. No, it's not here. Why? <laughs> okay, so it's probably in this Netflix box that I got. That Netflix box that I got, which has like a bunch of uh, so. Um, there was a watch party that Enrico um was invited and was hosting or was yeah he was hosting so with with Netflix so a lot of us signed up and we got like a Netflix watch party box that came with treats a blanket and all that so I was like ha ha this is my special stuff that I don't know where to put box now let's go this you got all the stuff i'm like like a baseball i got from my best friend is in there like i don't know just sentimental Hi. stuff i've i've it put in there memorabilia like, box okay yes that's okay it. uh so I'm so, <laughs> <laughs> so i have a uh kidney so they gave me like a kidney it would cut out of like a 
kidney? Okay, so it's not, it's not a real one. No, 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 they didn't give me a... <laughs> <laughs> Because we measured, uh, measure is about two point three or two point two. Which, to be fair, um, I was surprised. I, I it was my first fundraiser. I didn't know. Um, also sorry when I was I was I was just moving my my browser screen to the second screen, and from the Joe's Pizza, it's like, was this useful? Yes or no? As in, like. <laughs> Yes, Google it was. It was <laughs> Thank you for the feedback. <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, it was a wooden cardboard cutout because I managed to raise like 2.2 for them. And I was literally like, look, this is my first time doing this. I am surprised and I'm just, like happy because I am, to be fair, I'm, I'm a small streamer. But the fact that I had friends and community that donated towards it like really made me feel like happy that anything is possible and Mr. Beast must watch out I'm coming for him some point the the title of giving money and things away to people his end is near okay well no not near the new generation or not new generation but the next <laughs> the next in line there we go I honestly next... see that happening for you because you are one of the most kindest and supportive friends i've ever had and oh. it's <laughs> so it's like it's not just for one person it's for like a bunch of your other friends too and you're always so supportive and just like such a go-getter and such a motivator i see your Instagram <laughs> stories where <laughs> where you go like good morning and right uh like a pick me up and then i immediately feel like slightly better <laughs> and it's encouraging and you get <laughs> it's always funny when i do that and then people comment at that same point in time like it's too early and then i'm like but you're awake <laughs> you're awake at that time you're responding to the same message at the time good morning <laughs> it's not too early if you're awake and we also responding <laughs> but so no i uh, i appreciate it Robzy. So, out of like a lot of the people I met, you are like one of the most supportive and like what is it? Uh, there's a hype person. Like I don't know. It's just like whenever there is something, right? That test when your friends do something, I always like guys, stop what you're doing, and go do this. I'm gonna hype this person until the very end. You're doing it now, so get ready. Do this. This is and like I don't know. You like that hype person when. So in Pokemon, right, there's this group called Team Yell, and they support them. There's a trainer called Mar Marnie. And every time there's an event, they're like, Marnie! <laughs> in the game, it's like, every time, Marnie! <laughs> so you are that person, just always supporting anyone whenever they need it. So, Robzy, cheers to you for being also just as an amazing of a person. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. Tom. It's it's so funny because I was just sharing a friend of mine's Facebook page a few days ago or yeah, for the course see. of the past few days. And a lot of people have been liking her page because of me, like 30 extra people have now liked her page. And I just think it's so cool. <laughs> like, you know what? It's the thing of like you don't have much going on in your life. And instead of moping, you can at least reach out to your friends and support your friends and yeah. offer what you can, um, even though it's not financially. Uh, it's it's love and support, and that's all it yeah. is. 
man, that's I think important. A lot of people is just like again, I'm not gonna say a lot of people chase money, but a lot of it because of how the economy is, money is kind of like become more forefront. But just enough love and support will then eventually translate to money and all of that at the end of the day. So yeah, thank you for doing a good job. Thank you for being the hype person that everyone needs in their Aww. life. <laughs> thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Oh, I'm so shy now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't get words of affirmation often. And it's so nice when I hear it because I don't expect it. And then I I go all shy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mood same here so there you go and why spider-man of, yeah why is he your ah. character and stuff exactly because of what i explained earlier it's just i think he's one of one of the most human out of all the superheroes that he gets yeah in general like flipping the struggles are just as normal as us he may be a superhero he has the powers to lift buildings. He can punch to heck and back. He can fight the Hulk. But the man who takes away the suit, he's he's not Tony Stark. He's you and I. He comes back to his debts. He comes back to his bills. Like, even when he owned a company, it wasn't him. It was Otto Octavius in his body that built the company. So, like, it's just, I don't know, he's just the most, I don't know, say he's humble. Yes, he's been. In the comics, he has he's had he's up and down in terms of what a personality of the personality type that he is. But in general, the message and the idea, the fact that like you anyone can literally be Spider-Man at the end of the day, actually speaks true. It's like from the yeah. what is the line from the movie? It's anyone can wear the mask. Was it? Oh man. I, 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 think it's yes. anyone... I know exactly but what yeah. you're talking about. <laughs> I know, it's just, I've resonated with him so much. And who's your favorite? Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Or, or like Peter Ooh. Parker? Because okay, I think so say other, than, other than Other than those two, right? Let, 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 let's go away from those two. Okay. Other than those two, uh, it would be 2099, Miguel O'Hara. Oh, who's going to be Oscar Isaac? Yeah. Uh-huh. That's going to be interesting because he's Moon Knight. Oh, and Spider-Man's actually become also one of my favorite Spider-Man now. The Japanese Spider-Man. Oh, okay, okay. What, the series? Yeah, so in the series, that the Japanese oh, Spider-Man. And I don't know, I just somehow, like when I started watching, I just somehow like, man... <laughs> this is also my Spider-Man. I love this guy. What about so, the silent P that the P the Hawker? Oh, you know, you know. The, 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 the T-Rex. <laughs> yes. The T-Rex Spider-Man. Uh, that's still gonna be some more story, you know, before I, I resonate. I don't resonate with dinosaurs much, but who knows? Maybe a few more stories about him and <laughs> Or Peter Parked Car. <laughs> Yes, Peter Parker. That's the greatest Spider-Man in the world. That's it. That, that's that's the one. Peter Parker is the greatest Spider-Man ever. Do you only have a Miles Morales suit? You've got more, right? Yeah, just the two. So I got the comic and the movie suit. <laughs> okay. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, be prepared. <laughs> you are so flary right now, like I was earlier. Just come oh, really? again. Oh, it's because of the sun's positioning. <laughs> you look like an angel. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so bright. It's so bright. <laughs> oh, my word. Right. Oh, okay, stream. Uh, this is how I'm going to chat now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Rob Z's YouTube channel at the end of this podcast. <laughs> and feel free to follow Tom. At the moment, he's Chicken Wing or Z, and I'll post all his links in the description below. Yes, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Wait, and comment. I don't think I said comment. I like, like, <laughs> and comment. <laughs> comment! Thank you, Tom, for joining me. I had a blast chatting to you. Thank you, Rob Z, for your invite. My, the sun is really trying to eat my <laughs> face away. Here we go. Maybe I should also go in, like, the sunlight. <laughs> yeah there we go the hey. flary group <laughs> <laughs> okay 
have an awesome day further. You as well. Thank you.